All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, a peace and salutation to the elect. This is the Sean coming at you once again with another video. And um, I was doing some research and I came across um, some information on how it's, I'm reading um, on the screen. It says the stimulus check won't be in the mail for Americans who owe child support. Now, um, I heard about this maybe about two, three days ago. And the first thing I was thinking was, wow, I wonder who's that. Um, in a nutshell, who is that targeted at? And um, after contemplating, thinking, I'm like, you know what? That's 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 target. That's uh, a shot at you, Jake's. That's that's a shot at you, Jake's. You know why? Because, um, and I would say, you know, um, just this this queendom is is we got to get up out of here. It's another it's another um thing. It's it's almost like them saying, oh, all right, first they put you out of work, right? So if you can't, if you don't, if you're not working, then how can you pay uh, child support? But you still. So in other words, they, we told you that this man is the devil, but you Jakes don't want to um, listen because you got Stockholm syndrome. You know, you uh, you love your enemy too much. You know, we told you that Esau is is going to uh, do him and be the devil that he is, and he. He's starting to show his horns. He's been showing his horns. You know, um, the men of the Lord, we, we, you know, Lord willing, we are because we see it and we telling you, but some of you Jakes don't see it, just can't see it until the last, you'll see it. Um, you'll get it. You'll understand in the, at the last minute, though. That's what we're trying to tell you, because this is just like, um, like, just think about it. Like, if you. You know, I myself is not in the uh, predicament, but just think of Jake, Jake, that that is. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's brothers that uh, that's in this uh, predicament. And, um, you know, we got brothers all 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 throughout the states and um, some 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 brothers lost jobs behind this. And all that and can't support their family. Can't even support themselves. You know? Can't even support themselves. And, and you mean to tell me just because they, they already in debt. And you want to poke, you want to poke that at them and say, look, uh, since you can't pay the child support, you ain't you you ain't gonna get no help from us. So that's 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 hypocritical. That's hypocritical. I'ma um I'm gonna read a little bit. Of this and I'm gonna um, get the scriptures because this that that's gonna make you um you know for the people that's in this um predicament that should make you even matter and that should make you even wake wake up even more to the wickedness of this place and I don't know whether uh this is gonna um whether this is um this gonna stick but so far. It, let me let's read it then. It says the stimulus check won't be in the mail for Americans who owe child support, but back taxes or late student loan payments don't disqual disqualify people from getting the full amount they're eligible eligible for. That's hypocritical. That's hypocritical right there. And I'm surprised um, people ain't make an uproar about this. It says. Dated March 27, 2020, um, Washington. It says the coronavirus relief bill intacted, enacted Salaki uh, Friday includes direct cash payments to help people through the crisis. But one red flag that can cost otherwise eligible Americans money is on past due child support. Owing back taxes or other debt to the government is is not a problem according to senator chuck gracely or 
dash Ohio. He's a representative of Ohio, the chairman of the finance committee and a key author of the bill. The legislation turns off nearly all administrative 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 offset that ordinarily may reduce tax refunds for individuals who have passed tax debt or who are behind on other payment to federal or state government, including student loan payments, Gracely wrote in a medium.com post. And um, let me see. Well, that, that was it for the, uh, that particular. Um, but that's, that's hypocritical. Let's get the scriptures. And um, on one hand, the people that owe taxes, uh, they um, they get it. It won't disqualify them, but the people that owe child support, which is a bill, they uh, they don't get it. So you do your research. That's a stab at Jake. Let's get Isaiah. Let's go with the tenth chapter. And I'm going to start at one. It says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Let's look up decree. Um, unrighteous decree. H217. The Hebrew word is shakek. Let's hear it. Strong's H twenty seven eleven. Shakek. 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 Tomato. Tomato. It means an enactment, a resolution. All right. Okay, a resolution. Yeah, unrighteous. Uh, enactment, unrighteous resolution, thought, process. You know. Bills, and that's that was a that's an unrighteous uh, act that they are carrying out by giving Americans uh, by holding money from um, men that owe child support. It says, and that right grievous grievousness which they have prescribed. Let's read it again. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yeah, them bills that they are uh, passing, you know, first they're going to pitch you out of work. Then by you not being able to pay child support, they won't give you the stimulus uh, help that you would need anyway to survive. So basically they saying that they, they want you Jake's dead. That's what they saying. They want, in other words, they saying if you owe child support, you don't deserve to to live. You know, that's exactly what they saying. Verse two, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor, right? Because they that's a that's going to affect Jake, because Jake is poor out here. You know, Jacob is uh, under Esau and Esau and, and Jake is poor under Esau. Now you got your, you got, and even they, they, coon, you, you got your coons that you, your um, celebrities, which they all up, all of, all of them, they sold out for butter biscuits. You know, they still poor because that's, there ain't no money compared to the elite. You know, turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. In which they rob in the fought they, hey, because all them Jake, a lot of Jake grew up without a father, you know? And Esau just throwing jabs at Jake left and right, left and right, you know? And Jake still don't get it. 
Jake still, hey, you got some, you got some, some, um, Jake that's waking up. But the main thing is what you want to do is wake up to this truth. You know, that's the main thing, you know, but there's levels to this, you know, the heavenly father, he has his elect and then he got the other Israelites, the noted day Israelites, but they not of the elect, you know, verse three. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far to whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? And you know what? I'm going to say this for, for the for the Jake that's not in this truth. That's the heavenly father doing this to you, you know, because the heavenly father been warning you that this man is the devil. But you want to fuss at us and, and come against us, come against us for telling you the truth. You know, the Heavenly Father sent us on the highways and byways to let to wake up you people to tell you the truth. But you, you want to fuss at us for telling you, for telling you, hey, this man is, is, is about to come down on you. This devil is about to start attacking you. We warning you, you know, get on the Heavenly Father's side before he come down hard on you, you know, but no, you Jake. Hey, what's, what's, what's Jake favorite saying? The white man ain't, ain't, ain't hurt me. You know, the white man ain't no, my enemy. We'll polite say the white man ain't my enemy, you know? So the, the hell with you, the, 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 put it like this, the hell with the two, you two thirds, you know, we only care about the elect, you know? It says, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. You know, hey, yeah, the, um, the prisoners, we are the prisoners. You know, we we prisoners under Esau. And Esau just, he, he not going to have any mercy. I'm going I'm to I'm go to verse 6. It says, I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire in the streets? And that's what Esau doing. He, which, which Esau, the Edomites, they a hypocritical nation. Everything they do is hypocritical. You know, they go back on their word. Every, every word they go back on. We can ask the Gadites about that. Ask Gad. He'll tell you what's what they what they call the Native American. They ain't following out one treaty. Not one treaty. You know? Yeah. But that's it on that. I want to go to. We got. Um, let's go to Isaiah 47. And let's go to six. It says, I was wroth with my people. And this is the Lord talking. He said he was wroth with his people. He was mad and wroth meaning mad, angry, angry. He was angry with us for going off. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Yeah, he gave us into the hand of the uh, Edomites. You know, it says thou didst shew them no mercy. Esau didn't give it, show us no mercy when we was in, in, in captivity and slavery. You know, the ham, the so-called Hamites, well, not the so-called Hamites, the Hamites and Jake and some Jake in West Africa, when a lot of West Africans were over there, gathered, gathered us up, you know. And I'm going to say this. And some of the Gadites took the size of the white man, too, the Edomites. You know, all, all, all nations, even our own nation, turned against us. If you understand what I mean, if you can receive it. The people within our nation turned against us and took the enemy side. So you had you had other nations going against us as well as our own. And that's that's today. That's still happening today. 
You got Jake, you got Israelites, wicked Israelites, you know, that take the enemy side, you know. It says, thou didst show them no mercy. Up, upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid thy yoke, you know. Esau ain't show us no mercy. And he still ain't. I don't understand why you Jake still can't. Well, I understand why. Because the Lord blinded you, you know. It wasn't meant for you to get it, you know. But the people, and, and that's why, uh, you know, brothers that can get it, you know, including me, we got to start. And I'm talking about myself as well. We uh, we have to give thanks to the Heavenly Father because, um, hey, we, we, we got to look at ourselves as, uh, fortunate, um, being fortunate to understand is true, you know, just being blessed that he, he woke us up to understand his knowledge, you know, coming through the, um, starting with the apostles, the elders and the apostles, you know, cause it's, it's, it's mind, it's mind blowing. And, it, and it's, it's when you wake up to this truth, you know, it's bitter, you know, cause it's, it's, it's parts where it gets better, you know? The truth hurts, you know. Let's go to uh, Zechariah. Zechariah. We can start at one. No, the first chapter. I'm going to go to 15. Is this it? Is it one? Hold on. Salaki, brothers. Okay. It's uh, Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15. And it reads, And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped for the affliction. So the Lord, what, the Lord was angry at us, and so he, he, he allowed um, Esau to, 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 you know, to, uh, carry out, execute, um, vengeance on us. But, um, he allowed Esau to spoil us, Salaki. And, um, they went, they took it overboard. You know, we were already, the Lord was al already jacked us up. But Esau, he, he, like, like, like in this, like in this, he poked, they poked fun at it. You know, they poked fun at us. Like we already destroyed and they just take it overboard. You know, that's like somebody that's, that, hey, you're not showing mercy. That's like you see a guy, right? And he in a fight and, and he get, that's that's overkill. He get knocked out and then, you know, he, he he's lifeless. But you go and just keep on stomping him, kicking him in the head 20 times after that. And then after that, you come back and kick him in the head 20 more times. Then you know he's dead. Then you come back and kick him in the head another 20 times. That's overkill, you know? And that's what Esau basically doing. And then after that, you make fun of him, you know? And them devils, they are, um, they masters that manipulation and, and they corny at the same time, but they like doing these little corny little jokes. And you know what? That's, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do in the kingdom. The Lord loves, it's all about vengeance and payback. So all that, all that, you know, you, um, you dishing out on Jake, you're going to get it right back. It's coming right back at you. You know, this little thing that you're doing about this, uh, cause I, I know this is a, uh, a, a, a poke, a little poke at Jake, you know, about them doing that. The people that owe Chuck, here it is. You can owe millions. And student debt loans and and um and uh, taxes and all that. But here it is: if you owe child support, you can't get the help from the government. You know, that's telling you right there. If you if you already owe child support, you already in need. You already in debt already. So now he just going do he gonna just go overkill. That's overkill right there. You know, and, I'm, and who's the majority of the people that owe child support be Jake, 
be you Israelites, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Mainly you uh, Judites, because, you know, the so-called black woman, she's famous for going down uh, child support. You know, she, she, she will have your seed and get that check, you know. So you Jakes, you better wake up, man. This ain't a game. Esau out the out the out the slaughter you. He's not showing you any mercy. Let's go to Proverbs. And Esau, you're gonna get everything you 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 everything you dishing out, you're gonna get it back double. Cause I'm gonna bring this out and I'm gonna close it out. But uh this is Proverbs chapter 12, verses 9. And is this all right? This is let me see. Let me see. All right, was it twelve? Salaki, um, brothers. I wanted to, uh, give me a second. Give me one second. Um, it says, let me type it in here, see if. Let's get the scripture, brothers. Here it is. Okay, Proverbs. I thought it was... Tw okay, let me... All right. This is it, Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, thou hand, thou hand, join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So, A, it says, thou hand, join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Esau, you ain't go, you will not go unpunished. You're not going, just pit. The Lord's people in slavery for 500 years. And plus, because we still under you. You're not going to just take over the whole world, destroy the world. Chip everybody and then get away with it. You're not. The Lord said the wicked shall not go unpunished. You know, but I hope this was edifying, you know, to the body. You know, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem. Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadas. Till again, Shalom.